Before I jump into the main topic, here is an important detail. If you are preparing for a tech role, then you must choose a solid career track. Visit sandfoundry.com slash training to know more. In this video, uh, we are going to talk about the size of once again, and this is a specific uh, discussion around size of for a data type, which is known as void. Okay. I have done few videos around uh, the memory requirement for different data types and uh, why compiler and how compiler allocates memory. Okay. So in this example, uh, I'm going to talk about void. Uh, before that, uh, what you should do is uh, you should also uh, join the telegram group which I have created because it allows me to answer some specific queries which you might have, you know. So if you have not joined the telegram group, you can join this. In this group, I am going to also announce launch of lot of additional uh, details uh, with respect to programming, uh, not only for C, but for kernel and drivers and even storage area networks and some advanced technologies actually, okay. All right, so let's talk about this. So we have a piece of code where you have size of void and then size of void star, okay. These are the two things that we are going to discuss. Uh, as customary thing, you should pause the video, try to think, analyze the code, and then write your answers, okay. So many of you will have a, a different understanding of it, but uh, in this uh, lab exercise, uh, which I'm going to do now, I'm going to explain uh, both of them, you know, in much more detail actually, okay. So let's uh, go into the lab exercise to understand. Now, this is a specific problem when you talk about size of, right, basically, and in terms of a data type. Data types uh, always have some sort of a binding, binding on the hardware that you are working on actually, okay. It depends whether it's a 16-bit, 32-bit or 64-bit hardware, right. Answers can differ for the hardware. So we will see, you know, what are some of the answers? Uh, what does it mean actually? Okay, so let me just go into the lab exercise to solve this problem. So in this particular case, uh, I am using uh, in the first cut, I am using a machine, which is nothing but a 64 bit machine. Okay, so it is x86 64. So this is a 64 bit machine. Uh, running Linux, okay, so Ubuntu Linux as you can see uh, 20 series, so x8460, so x8664, right, so on a 64-bit machine, when I look into my program, right, so this is the code, you should have a guesswork or you should have your own understanding what should be the output, some people say that, yeah, size of void is basically a uh, does not work because void is means nothing and then but it works here for a white pointer right okay so when you do a compilation on this let's do it so we are seeing a certain warnings okay so the 64 bit gnu compiler that we use today you will see that you know if there's a mismatch in terms of some of the data types especially for printf and argument matching right okay so it might throw some warnings i repeat it is a warning it is not an error okay what it says is that we are giving percentage D, but it is a long unsigned actually, right? So it says that the argument is long unsigned. So if you want to eliminate the warning, then we have to make it as a long unsigned entity. Is it because it expects an integer? That's what it says, right? We can always do a long unsigned, not a problem. It, it, it also hints that you can use the percentage LD, right? Instead of a D. So this is the way to also look into some of the compiler war compiler uh, warnings and errors right so nothing wrong in the code obviously it's just that it's a representation the way we are printing it so now the compilation went through i have seen that you know people generally get worried that oh why it is working or how it is working right okay so since it is compiled let me run the code now so if i run the code you will see some output okay and this output can be sometimes different for different people so answer here you see you see is basically a 1 comma 8 it is not 18 it is 1 and 8 so let me modify this code for slightly better understanding readability of the code right so i am just going to add a backslash n so that you know the data gets printed um, on individual line that's number one okay so we'll compile this once again 
and then we do a a dot out so here you say that the size of void is one you can see here and then the size of uh, white pointer is basically a eight right now we have to understand uh, why these are one or eight basically right i think that is the important thing to remember right so we'll have a once again a close watch on the on the code now right so we'll do a code here so it is a first line first line says the size of void so many of you know in c programming that void means nothing okay so you could have an earlier interpretation that the size should be zero i think there's nothing wrong in that when you say the size is zero because void means nothing okay it's typically the compiler way of you know implementing some default values for this particular so called data type like a void okay so on gcc i am saying the gnu compiler i am saying the value as one so we just take it as it is if you are running say for example other compilers you know you can have your own embedded compiler or windows compiler or something you might get a different answer there okay so you don't should you should not be worried about that so much right okay what is more interesting is a pointer actually okay white pointer as i have mentioned in bunch of my videos you know white pointer is basically a very valid construct okay void we generally never do it's not we, we are never supposed to have a data type called void actually right however we are always supposed to have a data type called void pointer right so you can see the discrepancy you should not have a data type called void okay it just doesn't make sense because if you declare any data type called void right so if i say void v you can see that the language itself says you cannot do that right what what do you, what do you mean when you say language itself does not allow because the compiler will not compile that's the meaning the language says there's something wrong right so if you try to compile this off so you will see that oh there's a problem it says error see this is a compilation error you can see that okay it's an error variable or field v is declared void so there is a problem right so somehow we should also try to interpret our compiler you know what it is trying to say correct so we know that we cannot so the language itself cannot do that now the next question for you will be then why it worked actually okay why it worked that's the important thing right so the thing is size of is going to deduce certain size okay basically and i think in the implementation if you say nothing here right it's just giving you a one basically for void data type now let's put our focus our attention on the void star right what is void star actually right many times in during, in during run time we allocate a piece of memory we get a pointer we get you know a beginning of some something right it can be a data memory location something on the stack right something on the heap so during run time we get some allocation some pointers at that point of time we don't know what it is actually right so the best possibility is we say that yeah it's a pointer pointer to a void data type later depending on our programming logic we will try to deduce yeah it's a pointer to some sort of a structure or this kind of a structure one or a structure two or it's a pointer to some character array or it's a pointer to some integer right basically or integer array right so it can be anything actually right so void pointer is always a, a very valid thing okay Uh, i have shown this more detail in some other videos so let me just I'll give you one live example okay Mem many of us uh, know memory allocator right so the name of the function is malloc did you ever wonder like um, what is a return type of malloc what does malloc return because all of us uh, as a programmer know that malloc will give you a piece of memory but what is the use of the piece of memory what do we use that memory for is it to store a character or a character array or an integer or a or a structure or whatever right so the designer of a malloc if you have to write a routine malloc so what is a routine it's a function right so function will have arguments a function will have a return type right in programming a function will have a return type as you know you must have a return type now suppose i say you design a malloc function write a prototype so the fundamental question will be what should be the return type will it be a pointer yeah it's a pointer it returns an address but what pointer it is because as a developer you yourself don't know what pointer it should be right and that's exactly where the void pointer kicks in okay so if you see the man page of malloc 
the you should only focus on one line in this entire thing okay malloc returns a pointer ptr what pointer why because we don't know at this point what is the use case how we are going to use it right basically so void pointer is always a very important it's a mandatory parcel for our programming methods right so now the question is what does it return so let's go back into the original problem right what was the original problem original problem was size of so when you compile this code as you know you are going to get an answer and that answer is 8 bytes right so now it is a pointer right so a pointer is storing an address so i told you my machine here is basically right machine my machine is basically a x86 64 so it's a 64 bit machine on a 64 bit machine you know the pointers uh, this particular gnu gcc right gcc gnu compiler uh, is uh, has used a programming method or a model where you know you have pointer is a 8 byte 8 byte is 64 bits right so it's 8 byte and i think that's where the answer is so this machine is basically a 64 bit machine i will take you into another machine which is a 32 bit machine okay uh, which is a 32 bit machine so this is another machine that i have with me and if i say uname minus you know machine it, it does not say x86 64 this is a slightly older generation i686 okay so if i do a machine it is a slightly older kernel 2.6 kernel series okay and then um, this is i sixty six. this is a really a 32 bit machine okay basically it's a 32 bit processor or 32 bit machine we have right now um so when we run this piece of code on this machine actually right so this piece of code same code i have written here so let's see what's the outcome so first thing i'll compile it right i'll compile this guy here so compilation went successful let me do a run okay so it says one comma four again uh, this is a four is what you can see here okay this is the four right so you can always put a backslash in here so on a 32 bit machine a pointer is a four byte actually right it's a four byte entity so it's a 32 bit or a four byte actually right okay so i think uh, this particular uh, you know example uh, the main focus was to understand what is void what does it really mean and what is a void pointer where do we use them okay so keep watching uh, the complete series i've created a very large sequence series for different you know uh, problems as well as watch the advanced C programming because there is more like a complete uh, tutorial class actually right so it will give you much more detail about some of these thank you very much and i will see you in the uh, next uh, video